Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm back after a long week, Thanksgiving weekend that is. Um, I just hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Um, I know I did for a while. But most of all, there's of course the Black Friday uh, deals that was happening that week, even though that was going on you know, since October. So I did some early Black Friday shopping, getting more movies, you know, Blu-rays, DVDs, and even a 4K Ultra HD. Despite the fact that I don't have a player, not yet I believe, but if the prices go down and it becomes more affordable, then yes, I'll get one. And hopefully I'll get a 4K TV someday, but the way prices are going, well, you know how it is. And of course, with this pandemic still going on, well, yeah. So anyway, um, I'm going to start, and I know I did the review already, but I'm going to show you anyway. The Flintstones, the complete series on Blu-ray, yeah, featuring uh, Fred Flintstone, Barney Rebel, along with their wives, Wilma and Betty, joining in with Dino, which happens to be the Flintstones pets and of course uh, <laughs> Pebbles and Bam Bam yeah they're children and of course featuring the voice of Alan Reed Mel Blanc uh, with Dawn's Butler taking over for a little while and Mel Blanc came back and then we had uh, Jean Banderpile and of course B. Benderet before she was replaced by Jerry Johnson yeah got this for 60 99 at Target, though I went down for 44 48 I wish I had picked that up for that price, but what, whatever. I got what I need. It was perfect. And of course I got the Flintstones, two movies and five specials collection for $9.96 at Walmart. It's a great deal, but you get all the movies that you want. I know it's not all of it, but hey, <laughs> hopefully we'll get more of it someday as a collection. I'm going to start with uh, Toy Story 4. Yes, I finally got this movie. It's a combo pack. Um, has, of course, a digital code. I really enjoyed this movie when I saw this um, last year. I mean, I love all the Toy Story movies, so you just can't go wrong. I know some people thought they had mixed feelings about this one, and they felt like this was unnecessary and all that. I mean, I can't believe, you know, this is getting negative reviews from YouTubers out there, but thank goodness there are people out there who understands. But, uh, I'm just happy to get this, because uh, I really need all the Toy Story films in my collection. I just don't have the shorts, though. <laughs> yeah, like the, the Toy Story of Terror, or the Toy Story, the Time... The toys have forgot or almost forgot or something. I don't know. So, uh, but hey, um, maybe someday I'll find them. Um, okay. So, next one I got is um, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Because I do have the first one on Blu-ray, and I wanted to complete this. I know there's going to be a Volume Three someday if if that ever happens. Because I know they're working on that. And I know because of the controversy going around with the director, you know, James Gunn, I mean, things seems to work out at, at this point. I mean, yeah, he's gotten into trouble. I mean, going on Twitter, writing a lot of these, um, you know, harsh words, and, you know, a lot of uh, raunchy jokes and everything. But that's James Gunn, okay? He can do whatever he wants. Um, but it's a great Blu-ray set to own, all in all. And I enjoy Volume 2, even though I do have some problems. Um, starting with the reveal of uh, Star-Lord's father, you know, Ego, who's played by Kurt Russell. Yes, I'm going to spoil it anyway. He's the villain. And then they killed off um, Michael Rooker's character. And... I'm fucking Mary Poppins. <laughs> okay. 
But I, I still enjoy this movie. I really have fun with this when I saw it in theaters. And I, I would definitely would love to watch this again on Blu-ray. So that's the main reason to get that. But I really would love to get some more Marvel films on Blu-ray. Because I know it's not easy because of the prices and all. It's, it's hard to keep up. Uh, and speaking of which, uh, I got uh, the other two Avengers films. Uh, one is uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, and the other is Avengers Infinity War. So this completes my Avengers uh, collection, because I have them all on Blu-ray. Yeah, the first one was the Avengers. I got that at Target. Well, the last one is the Endgame, which I got at Best Buy you know, last year during Black Friday. Yeah, no slipcovers, but that's okay. I buy movies with or without a slipcover, so no big deal. My only thing I get worried about is if the case is in good shape. You know, hopefully it's not broken. So then I have to get a replacement. I know I know it's going to take some time, but hey. Um, and I got uh, Pokemon Detective Pikachu. I really enjoy this movie. I did a review last year. Uh, it was a big surprise for me because you know I. You know, even though I, I do enjoy Pokemon, but I've been much of a big fan of Digimon more than Pokemon. But hey, it, it's fun because, you know, you got Ryan Reynolds doing the voice of Detective Pikachu. Sort of uh, brings in the Deadpool in all of us. I, I know um, they even got the cab driver from Deadpool to be in this film, so I thought that was pretty clever. So, And uh, has Justin uh, Justice Smith who was, of course, from the movie um, Paper Towns, and he was also in Jurassic World uh, Fallen Kingdom. So he was great in this. Uh, and then it also has um, uh, Catherine uh, Newton, who I, I would say this is one of her better performances that I saw her in than she was in, in that awful Paranormal Activity sequel. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, I heard she's in a new movie uh, with Ben Spawn. It's a dark comedy, and I love to check this out too. It sounds pretty interesting. But yep, yeah, glad to have that. I got Doctor Sleep. This is a follow-up to The Shining from 1980. Yeah, the the Stanley Kubrick film, which is based on the Stephen King novel. Yes, I know Stephen King didn't like The Shining. I mean. It, but he did enjoy uh, the miniseries that he had to work with, I think Mick Garris. Um, but yeah, he, he didn't like uh, Kubrick's version of it. But to me, I always enjoy the 1980 version. It's always been a classic. It's scary. I mean, this was Jack Nicholson's chilling performance. And there's no doubt about it. I, I feel like Kubrick's version really works. Uh, and this is a great follow-up to it. Um, and sadly, the film didn't do well at the box office upon its release. Because um, it really is a great movie. I, I Surprisingly, a stunning, uh, pretty chilling uh, sequel. It basically shows about what happens um, with uh, Dan Torrance uh, facing what's going on the way Jack Torrance had experienced uh, when they went to that hotel. You know, and, and of course they show the red rum and all this. Um, it does contain the director's cuts of this release. Um, yes, it's a combo pack. But, but yeah, just the Blu-ray with the digital code included. So. I'd love to do a review on this someday too. But I'm, I'm going to try to watch it. And I'd love to see the director's cut. And, and hopefully I'll, I'll see what I can say about it. But I did enjoy the film when I saw it last year. Yes, um... I got, oh fuck, sorry, this is scaring me. I got the, the Lord of the Rings trilogy along with The Hobbits. And yes, they're both theatrical versions. Considering the fact that they just released a 4K release that contains both editions. Um, but hey, you know, it's great to have them anyway. Um, if I could track down the the extended versions, that'd be nice. Um, but I got them for a lot cheaper. It was each of them was five ninety six at Walmart. But hey, you know, if 
but that price alone, it, I had to take it. Uh, then I got uh, Venom. I thought it was alright uh, when I saw it uh, two years ago. And it's nice to have this on Blu-ray anyway. Um, I know it's not uh, R-rated or anything like that. I know we could have had a lot of better fans for this movie. But what made me enjoy the film is mostly because of Tom Hardy's performance as Eddie Brock. And, of course, Venom. Um, Michelle Williams was good, too. <clears throat> but I do agree, it needed a better villain. It needed some better pacing here and there. And it needed a better story. But for what it is, it's worth watching. So, for me, at least. Um, or if... But I can understand why people don't, didn't like this one. Then there's Lucy with Scarlett Johansson. And Morgan Freeman, yeah, from Luc Besson. Um, in my opinion, I really enjoy this film. Uh, it has uh, non-stop action right there, and I think it really had a unique story that went into. I guess you could say this is sort of like uh, Limitless, but with tons of action. And plus, you have, of course, well, Joe Hansen. Um, Yes, and I got this at Walmart, of course. So, yes, it has the Voodoo um, code, but I, but I think you have to save your seat and everything to do so, and in order to get the code to add on your Voodoo account. But whatever. I have to get right into it because I'm taking them all in the bag. I got Candyman. Yes, the horror film, the first film of the franchise. I dare you to say five times. Because then he's going to appear with the hook. <laughs> I know there's a Blu-ray release from Scream Factory. I would love to track that one down. But for now, I'm glad I found the DVD. Apparently this is released by Universal. I'm surprised Sony did not pick this up. Considering the fact that TriStar released this. It might have been because of Polygram. Since um, Universal owns the rights to... Um, several of the Polygram films, uh, but I know MGM um, got the libraries, uh, the pre-1996 library, um, because of their deal. Maybe the earlier films from Lionsgate, so, I mean Lionsgate actually uh, took over for that, so it was perfect. Um, but hey, it's, it's nice to have the film anyway on DVD, because I don't think it was ever on DVD uh, as far as I'm concerned, but hey, at least we got it. And I got the John Hughes 5 movie collection. Yes, I know, um, I would say two of the movies I do have on Blu-ray and DVD. Yeah, one had to be Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And the other one is Plain Strings and Automobiles. I would love to track down the Blu-ray for that one because I really enjoy that film. And it does contain uh, Pretty in Pink, uh, She's Having a Baby, and Some Kind of Wonderful. And I believe, um, I don't know if She's Having a Baby had a Blu-ray, but I know some kind of wonderful and pretty in pink just recently got some. But hey, I had to get this because, you know, it's, you know, you get all the movies and you also get all the features too. In fact, I know Pretty in Pink had tons of features, uh, which I, I'm told that it's not on the Paramount Presents Blu-ray. Sucks, I know. I don't know why they did that. And, um... I believe uh, some kind of wonderful had some features as well, but I'm not so sure if they're either ported on this new Blu-ray or, or maybe it is. But I mean, Paramount's just getting weirder and weirder with their releases. I, I know at least they're keeping up with the all the catalog titles, and I hope they continue with that. But either way, it's it's great to have these on DVD, nevertheless. Um, I got the Poison Rose. Uh, I've yet to check this out because, um, believe it or not, uh, uh, Inclusion Film students actually um, had a helping hand with this. I'm surprised to hear that, and, and I know I showed you the video on Facebook, but I wanted to check this movie out. Um, I know there's a Blu-ray, um, but it's nice to just find them anyway, no matter what format you buy it on. Um, but not only does it have John Travolta and Morgan Freeman, but you also have uh, 
Famike Johnson, yeah, as well as uh, Brendan Fraser, yeah, he's in this. Um, and this should be a great film. I mean, maybe it's not perfect, but it should be as good as, as I can expect it. I think I would rather watch this than, I'll say, The Fanatic again. You know how much of that disaster it was, but I know it's laughable. Um, and yes, I got Mandy on DVD. I wish it was Blu-ray, because I'd love to have it on Blu-ray someday, but I mean, I gotta say the slipcover is as shiny as it could be. Um, I have some extras here. And surprisingly, this was the best horror film I've ever saw. Uh, back in 2018, uh, joining in with Hellfest and Summer of 84, which I've yet to track down. Um, but I really love this film, and I, I just couldn't believe it. Um, you know, I finally found a slasher film with Nicolas Cage, and it works. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now this is going to be a controversy on this one. But I did got Belby Hills Cop, the trilogy, the free movie collection on DVD. I almost got the Blu-ray, or I, I actually had it for a little while, only to find out and discover that it's not what I expected it. I opened up the Blu-ray disc, and it turns out that I had two discs of News Radio, the complete series, when I got it at Walmart, and I was shocked. So I had to send it back, and I had to get a store credit for that. They almost couldn't do this, but they did it anyway. So enough for me to actually uh, get more money for it. Uh, but, of course, that's how I had to end up getting the, some supplies, you know, like toothpaste, a mouthwash, and shaving cream, and all that. Yeah, I had to get half of that with that store credit. And... Just had to help out with other things here. But I still got a lot of gifts that I went ahead with. Um, so it's a shame. But whatever. Um, hopefully I'll track that one down again on Blu-ray. Maybe I'll find it at Best Buy or possibly Amazon. I think Amazon would be great too. As long as they don't give me the same problems. And so I'm going to start checking to make sure. <laughs> Every now and then. And I know it's, it's, it's tough to keep up when you get so many of them. Um, so I got the DVD, and this has all the features anyway. It's not mentioned on here, but I guarantee you that this DVD set does have them all. Because I, I was told that the Blu-ray, even though it's a 4K remaster, and it did have features on the first movie, the sequels didn't contain any things. But it's great to have that you now. And I got the Road Trip uh, Unrated Trilogy. Yes, I got all three of them. So that means... Uh, Yes, I get to watch uh, <laughs> a lot of raunchiness going around, a lot of funny scenes, and some nudity, too, <laughs> here and there. Um, well, I enjoyed the first two films, though. Uh, Road Trip was the movie with um, Tom Green, of course, but it also had Breckin Meyer, Amy Smart, uh, Sean William Scott from American Pie, uh, and, of course, uh, Do Where's My Car. And even had Fred Ward in there. Yes, this was the film that was directed by Todd Phillips uh, long before he went on to do the the Hangover films, so, and as well as uh, Joker <laughs> and War Dogs. Um, so it's cool. And it also has uh, Euro Trip, um, which is the movie with Michelle Trachtenberg and all the rest. Um, yeah, you remember the the moment too, which had a cameo appearance by. Matt Damon, yeah, Scotty doesn't know, Scotty doesn't know, no. and this has the Beer Pong um, sequel, which was a direct-to-video one, uh, mm, it was eh, kind of disappointing, but I guess if you had to watch it for yourself, then who knows, yeah, I mean, you still get uh, what you need in, in the sequel. But I'll, I'll just take the first two films, but I, I could still watch the Beer Pong one. Uh, I also got the Don Knotts uh, DVD of The Ghosts and Mr. Chicken. 
This is a classic. Um, I have the other uh, Don Knotts film that I bought two years ago called The Voluntic Astronaut, which had Leslie Nielsen in it. Um, but th this has been a very funny movie, and I wish I could get some more Don Knotts films. Because, you know, I love the actor. Okay, I think I cover that up with the DVDs. Okay, and speaking of Joker that I just mentioned, <laughs> here it is. Yes, with King Phoenix and Robert De Niro. And yes, this is a combo pack. Um, it does have the, the DVD and and a digital code inside, just doesn't have a slip cover. Um, but I really enjoyed the film when I saw it last year. It was a big surprise for me. Um, he won the Oscar for his performance. Um, has a bit of a, um, I would say, uh, the king of comedy in the mix. Uh, with a bit of taxi driver in there. It's almost feeling like something that Martin Scorsese would have done for this <laughs> movie. But this was uh, an inspiration to that. Um, but for <laughs> Gotham City in modern day times. So yeah. But did a great job with this. Okay, and I also got the Grinch. Finally, on Blu-ray. I saw this in theaters, of course. It has a combo pack and includes three mini movies. Some nice features here and there. Um, so I'm happy to own that. Yeah, I got one of the sequels to uh, Missing in Action, the Chuck Norris film. Uh, I have to tell you the truth, though. I didn't buy this at Walmart or, or Target. Not even Best Buy, either. Um, I actually found this at 99 Cent Store. <laughs> but you know what? I decided to include this in anyway. Because it was only, you know... A buck ninety-nine. <laughs> um, it would be nice to find some more missing in action films, maybe even more Chuck Norris films on Blu-ray. Hell, DVD too, if I have um, Hey, it's it's always fun to watch. Speaking of which, that's something that's even more fun to watch. Flash Gordon. Ah, Flash. <laughs> okay, yes, I know it's not the 4K Ultra HD or Blu-ray limited edition combo pack that we just got uh, from Arrow. This is, of course, the Universal release uh, from 2009 or 10, I think. Yeah, 2010. But this should still look as great as as it can be. But I I know maybe I'll track that down someday. I almost got that, but. But of course, you know, it's expensive. Well, actually they had it for like 20 bucks for a while. But the other one, yeah, the, it could be a little more than that. But if I ever track that down again, I'll maybe I will. But if not, then I'm, I'm just fine with this for now. So. But hey, I, I enjoy Flash Gordon. Yeah, it may be cheesy, corny or whatever, but it's a classic. And I have fun with it. Plus it's based on a comic though. <laughs> and then there's Zombieland Double Tap. I review the film. Uh, but I really enjoy that film too. Um, it definitely works well with the first movie too. In my opinion. Um, has all the features of course. Uh, the Lego Ninja Go movie, yes, this will complete for a while for those uh, Lego films. Joining in with the, the Lego movie 1 and 2 and the Lego Batman movie. Um, unfortunately, though, um, out of uh, the Lego films that we had, uh, this one eventually, I guess you could say, it's a bit underrated. Because it got mixed reviews upon its release. But, you know, I, I still think it's as enjoyable as as all of them, so it's okay. Oh, and here's a big surprise for me when I found this at Target. But I got 
Death Before Dishonor. Never thought I would find this at any store like Target. Because it was actually part of the, um, the clearance. Um, it was actually priced at $19.99, but it went down to $13.99 for the online item. So unfortunately, if you had to get something clearance, uh, yes, um, it's going to have a price override. And they had to fix that problem too, in order for you to get it. Um, but this is, of course, um, a movie with uh, Fred Dreyer from Hunter. And to me, uh, this is his best film. I really enjoyed this movie. I saw this um, when I was very young, and, and I know I saw this when it was on TV uh, several times, but I, I know Cisco never reviewed this film a long time ago, but I think, to me, this had a lot of great action here, um, great story, and Fred Dreyer is totally badass in this movie, and I'm so happy to own this on Blu-ray. I mean, it's hard to get all these um, Scorpion releases in stores. Like, I, I love to track down, like, Savage Streets or something like that, or, or any other movie. And if I ever do, maybe, who knows. <laughs> I always have to get it online if I have to, because, you know, how that's going to take out. And yes, you wouldn't believe this, I got the 4K Ultra HD combo pack with Blu-ray and digital code of... Ghost in the Shell. I had this on Blu-ray before, which was the 25th anniversary edition, as it was cold. Uh, that was I got it for a lot cheaper for $9.99. I think it was bare bones too. Um, this has a very nice cover art. It's, it's a slip cover, of course. It looks very shiny, um, but you can see right here. Um, of course, if I get a 4K player, I'll definitely experience it. Um, so it does have features included, so that's cool, to, to another reason to own this. And I always enjoy this movie, ever since I saw it. Well, to tell you the truth, um, the first time I, I saw Ghost in a Shell, it was after I saw the TV series Standalone Complex, uh, when it was on Adult Swim, and I started taping episodes of that. And that got me into seeing the movie. And when I saw the movie, it was just, it was visually stunning for its time. Uh, I heard this release got mixed reviews from people for those who picked this up. Especially for those who watched it on Dolby Vision for their 4K Ultra HD player. Um, they said that, um, I guess maybe it's for Panasonic players, maybe a few. Um, hopefully it's not all of them. Uh, they say that they actually have flickering issues, um, and then they said that the transfer is give or take, but I don't know. I mean, judging by the screenshots and all that, I, I think it looks pretty stunning. Uh, it, it's always been a brighter film, and it should be as vivid and vibrant as ever. But whatever the case, uh, I, I always enjoy the movie. And yes, I enjoyed the, the live-action film, too, with Scarlett Johansson. Uh, I was lucky to have that on Blu-ray uh, during you know, the Black Friday deals uh, back in 2017, though. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with that, and and I even enjoy uh, the other ones that follow. But still, it's, it's better than nothing. I still need to check out that Netflix series. Uh, I haven't seen it though. Uh, I'm not so sure how good this one is. But whatever the case, um, I still stand by with what all the Ghost in the Show uh, movies and series. Yes, I got some more still. I finally got Birds of Prey <laughs> on Blu-ray. It's a combo pack too. And I got some features. I almost wish I had picked up the 4K one, but... It's okay, because <laughs> I, I like to see how the experience would have been like if I had the player, but whatever. Um, but no doubt about it, Margot Robbie was just incredibly, insanely awesome in this movie. <laughs> and yes, she's sexy as well, tough, uh, uh, tough as nails at times, and she's very funny. She joins in with the, the rest of the cast including um, 
Or Elizabeth Winstead and um, Rosa Perez come to mind. Yeah, Ewan McGregor. Who, of course, I just show you uh, of the the movie Doctor Strange. I mean, Doctor. Sorry, Doctor Sleep. <laughs> I slipped up on that one. <laughs> Doctor Strange. I still need to track that one down and buy that for a lot cheaper. And I finally got Mulan. But yes, the new Mulan that unfortunately has been played on Disney Plus, which is not doing so well, thanks to the stupid controversy and thanks to actually having to stick it to it, since they were supposed to release this in theaters, but of course the pandemic. This was, this was a bad idea. But I enjoy the movie. Okay, it may have its issues. I understand. Okay. I'm not stupid, but can I enjoy both the animated version and this as opposed to their sequel that they had, the animated sequel? Yeah, and I haven't even reviewed that one yet, but whatever. But it's nice to have this with features and, and a combo pack that you can't fucking get on Disney Plus. I'm not going to waste my time with that. I got Ford versus Ferrari. Matt Damon and Christian Bale. Yeah. It's a great film. Great to own this on Blu ray. It's by James Mango. I haven't reviewed it yet, but someday maybe I will. I finally got Mission Impossible Rogue Nation on Blu ray. You know, I, I actually wouldn't mind picking up the first three films on Blu ray. I mean, now that I got the sequels. I know there's a sixth movie collection that they put out, but I think I would rather have them separately. Because yeah. I know I have the first free on DVD. Um, I got Shooter on Blu-ray. I did have this on DVD, but it's nice to upgrade it. Yeah, the one with Mark Wahlberg, along with Danny Glover. Um, Cape Mara's in this. Um, Michael Pena, um, Ned Beatty, Alias Cateas, um, and all the rest. So, but this is a this is indeed an action thriller, very sharp. Yeah, it's from director of Training Day. Yeah, Antoine Fuqua. Uh, Bill and Ted's Face the Music. Yep, to complete the collection, <laughs> since I have the the most excellent collection on Blu-ray from Shell Factory. I know they did release a, a free film collection that not only includes this, but they also have um, the first two movies. But they're not releasing the Shell Factory disc. They're actually uh, MGM release ones um, under Warner Brothers. So at that point on, I think um, the disc for um, Bocas Journey might be bare bones, but they might probably include trailers or something. So, but I guess that one will have digital codes for all three of them, so that'll be worth it for that. But still, <laughs> and I enjoy this movie too. I actually saw this twice, um, once online and the other at the drive-in theater. Yeah, the Pacific's uh, Violin Drive-in Theater. In La Plente, or at this rate, City of Industry, as they're referred to. I haven't been to that drive-in theater in quite a long time. Uh, the last time I've been there was when I went to see Once Upon a Time in Mexico in 2003. And it's definitely the perfect drive-in to go see movies over there. Especially even in those pandemic times. But that's where I had to see it. Because I wanted to experience it. Uh, I got split... With James McAvoy, yeah, this eventually became the sequel to the Unbreakable Trilogy, now. I mean, it, it did, wasn't going to be that way. It was going to be like a standalone film until the the spoiler at the end, the, the big twist. So it made a connection. I saw Glass, and eh, it was not very good. It was pretty boring, and it just wasn't the perfect end to the trilogy either. Um, 
Now, when I first saw this movie back in 2017, I had mixed feelings uh, at first. But at the same time, I was glad to hear that M. Night Shyamalan was coming back to directing something this smart. And you know what? I'm glad that he went back for that for a little while. But it seems like this is probably the only film in recent years that he has done exactly right. Because I thought The Visit sucked. Um, despite of some, some good moments in there. Again, it's my opinion. Uh, but I thought James McAvoy did an excellent job. Who eventually had like 23 uh, split personalities. Which could lead to the Beast. Um, I mean, a few of the split personalities kind of turn me off a bit, um, but after a while, it's, I got used to it. Um, it did have, uh, Bentley Buckley in this movie, yeah, from the original Carrie. I'm surprised she was in this one as the psychiatrist. Um, I hardly see her in movies anymore. And it had, uh, Anna Taylor-Joy from The Witch. She had a great performance in that film, too. So, for me alone, I, I did enjoy Split. And I will definitely watch this again and again. And maybe I'll do a review on it, too. Uh, if if I could review that along with Unbreakable. Um, and I'll join in with Glass, because I didn't care for that one. I got Onward. Yes, so this came out uh, just before it went straight to Disney+. Plus. It did play it in feeders, but I was lucky to check this out when I had a chance, and I loved it. Um, for a Pixar film, this was great. Um, and I got Moana, finally. <laughs> I saw this in feeders um, a few years ago, uh, before I moved to this place. Uh, in fact, I think this was at the time when we moved here, when I finally saw this movie. And it was very enjoyable. Um, great story, uh, wonderful songs. And both uh, Dwayne Johnson, a.k.a. The Rock, was um, superb as Maui, the mighty uh, demigod. And, of course, Moana, played by, if I can try to pronounce it better, Ali Quavajo. Okay, I'm not perfect. I know it's 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 hard to keep up uh, the names. I finally got Keanu on Blu-ray. Surprised to find this at Dollar Tree for a dollar because I really enjoyed this movie when I saw this back in 2016. Uh, this was a surprise for me because. Um, I already knew who Key and Peele were. I mean, they were from that show on Comedy Central. Um, I I did watch the show for a while, but I didn't watch all of it. But I, I, I knew who they were. And, and of course, uh, Jordan Peele would later went on to do Get Out, that he directed, and now he's becoming you know, surprisingly popular. Superman Free. Yeah, only found... Just one Blu-ray of the Superman movies, and I wish there were more <laughs> that they have available at Dollar Tree, that is. But I would say it's the most underrated sequel of them all, mostly because this one had Richard Pryor. I love him. I miss him already. And of course, I know Christopher Reeve, and I miss him too, as Clark Kent, a.k.a. Superman. And this was a fun sequel to watch. I mean, it did have... Um, Lana Lang, uh, played by Annette O'Toole. Um, it had a different villain this time, um, played by Robert Bong. Um, and um, I, I kind of like the idea that they really went for, where they were, where eventually you know Richard Pryor plays like a, you know, just a. Um, Trying to get a job, you know, working as a computer programming the natural, joining in with uh, Robert Bond and all. And uh, this is the one that has the evil Superman, too, in case you don't know. But all in all, I've, um, I would rather watch this than 
I would say the fourth one that followed after that, or, or even the, well, you know what I'm talking about, Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, disasters, I know. Uh, Drinking Buddies, uh, that has uh, Olivia Wilde, Jake Johnson, Anna Kendrick, and Ron Livingston. I have not seen this movie, but I figured this might be interesting, since I got this, because you won't be able to find it anywhere. Um, I got Wild Horses. I'd love to check this out too. Uh, it's Robert Duvall who also directed this with James Franco and Josh Hartnett. This would be perfect to watch. It's a western. Got Jackie Chan, Kung Fu Master. I mean, this sounds like a fun movie to watch. I mean, after all, it's Jackie Chan. <laughs> so, yeah. I also got The House. Not the biggest fan of this comedy, uh, which sounds like a cool idea. But, hey, you know, for Will Ferrell and Amy Poehler, I mean, it's, it's worth checking out, but I guarantee it's not as good. But, hey, I, I had to get it for a dollar anyway, because it wasn't anything else to buy. <laughs> well, there was, like, tons of DVDs and Blu-rays over there, but I almost wish there were more Blu-rays. Of movies that I want to find. Uh, Still Alice with uh, Julianne Moore along with Alec Baldwin and Christian Stewart. Uh, this should be a great film. I got Pac-Man and the Ghostly Avengers. Um, just four episodes all together. Uh, it would be nice if they have more. Uh, it did air on TV a long time ago, um, but it, it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's Pac-Man. Can't go wrong with that. I actually heard that um, I think Tom Rugger from Titans of Adventures and Animaniacs had worked on the series. Could be wrong, but I, then again, I could be right. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I just did some researching for a while. Uh, Diablo uh, with Scott Eastwood, yeah, Clint Eastwood's uh, son, uh, with Walter Goggins and Camilla Bell. I uh, would love to check this movie out. Uh, it was released by Ryan Pictures. It has a nice shiny uh, slipcover. Um, very soft, too. Uh, Black Mask, I, of course, I did a review on it a long time ago, and I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, Despite of its issues, it has. Um, but Johnny Depp did a did a brilliant performance as Whitey Bulger, and I even enjoy uh, uh, some of the casts in this movie. A lot of great actors, except for Dakota Johnson, because she was terrible and she was only given seven minutes of screen time. Yeah, she's one of the problems with the film. Um, and it's really sad nowadays, too, with Johnny Depp because of his uh, ex-wife and actress, Amber Heard. And that's why she's, he's not doing the, the next um, Fantastic Beast film. He just did two of them recently. And so I, I heard that he might be replaced by Mads uh, Mikkelsen, yeah, from Casino Royale. And he was also in the TV series Hannibal. Great actor. I could see him play the role, too. I wouldn't have a problem with him. But Johnny Depp was was always been a great actor. Excellent. And I, I'm sorry, but Amber Heard, there may be a few films that I enjoyed her in, but, well, I would say Zombieland would be one. But as far as I'm concerned, she wasn't even a good actress to begin with, uh, to tell you the truth. Uh, there hasn't been a good film that she's done, as far as I'm concerned, over the years. And I know she's in a movie called Aquaman, but now I'm, I'm having vital signs with her, because I have to what she's acting like. So, unbelievable, man, this woman. Get Shorty, the, the TV series. Uh, yes, there was a TV series based on the 1995 movie. Um, 
which has uh, Ray Romano from Everybody Loves Raymond, and of course stand-up comedian himself, and Chris O'Dell. So I've yet to check this out. It's season one. Uh, I think they they did season two. I'm not so sure, but I believe the show um, would aired on Epic. Yeah, it's a it's a net network, it's a premium network. So that's why I haven't seen it. I don't even have that channel. <laughs> Uh, but the 1995 film, of course, is awesome, and I wish I can get that on Blu-ray. <laughs> yeah, the one with John Travolta, along with Rene Russo, Danny DeVito, uh, Gene Hackman, and all the rest of the cast. It's a very fun movie. And finally, I got Band Slam. Uh, this one features uh, Vanessa Hugens, yes, from High School Musical. Uh, surprisingly, she's better in this one than she is in those awful films. And I know she's been in other stuff, too. Uh, Ali uh, Mahoka, who was from that TV show on, on the CW called Hellcats, which didn't last long, only lasted one season. Yeah, short-lived, you know, about cheerleaders. Um, and she was also in the movie Easy A. She, she also had been in some bad films, too. Like The Roommate, for instance. Uh, Lisa Kudrow is in this. Yeah, from Friends. And, um, yeah, you can tell this is a Canadian release. <laughs> uh, released by E1 Entertainment. Sorry, E1. Um, uh, Todd Graff directed this. Some nice extras here. So that's all I have. So, what a big set uh, for Black Friday. Um, I, I actually have a lot of movies I bought at, at Dollar Tree uh, that I bought back in September. Uh, I'm not going to show you this because uh, I think I already know already. Um, but maybe if I started doing some movie reviews and all that stuff, maybe I will. Um, well, I just want to show you the stuff I got for Black Friday, that's all. That's, that's the whole point of this video. <laughs> Um, and it's a long video, but I'm just happy that at least I got what I got. And if I do continue to get some more stuff, then you know how it goes. I mean, it's not going to be easy seeing that we're, we're dealing with this pandemic. Because it's not letting us have a chance. And, you know, we want to be safe. Because, you know, we have to be wearing masks all the time. And we have to be six feet apart from everyone. So, hopefully we don't end up getting, you know caught by this uh, particular virus. Anyway, but that's all my Blu-rays and DVDs collection I picked up for Black Friday at any of these stores, you know, Dollar Tree, Target, Best Buy, and even Walmart. <laughs> and I'm happy because now I get to watch these movies and TV shows anytime, any place, anywhere. <laughs> Okay, and I'm just glad I'm back, even with a new haircut and all, even wearing my shirt. <laughs> That's why I love doing these videos, it's just fun. But I don't do these kind of videos uh, very often, but I know I should. <laughs> but who cares? Anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later, and I'll continue with all this other stuff as it follows. Now that we're in December. There's going to be a lot of Christmas movies going around and, and specials too. Bye.